Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so my husband and I went to an estate sale. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. And I don't go to estate sales very often. That's more his thing. And he's like, you want to go? And I'm like, yeah. So it was one of those where everything was left in the drawers. It was a complete mess. So um, we went in and we split up and we were driving home and I'm like, what'd you get? And he's like, well, and he, and I'm like, wait, let's do a video. So I don't know what he got. He doesn't know what I got. So we're going to show you guys what we got. So let's check it out. All right, you guys, here are our bags. This one's mine. This, this one's mine. Okay. And how much did you spend? $22. And I spent 17, but I had some personal items that I already pulled out. So I'm going to say 14 or 15. And we're just going to take turns. I'll go first and then he'll go and then we'll just mix it up. I'm going to save that for last. Okay, so I will tell you guys that I am going to pop up screenshots of how I listed everything. I plan to list his items also, but mine are listed. So I'll be popping up a screenshot. So this first little stuffed animal, I, I don't even know what I paid for this. It was kind of like I just gave them the stuff and they added it up, but it's a cuddly stuff territory and it's kind of like that nylon parachute material so i'll pop up a screen share of how i listed that so that's my first item you guys know i love toys all right so i got this goody hairbrush you guys goody is a bolo to be a, an item to be on the lookout for now unfortunately i got home and i noticed that it is broke so i am not going to list this but i did want to share it with you guys because if you see these old brushes they can definitely be worth money so um, they range from bread and butter and some of them can go for a little more than bread and butter, but I had like probably a quarter in this. So I was really bummed to, to see that it was broken. Are those Tupperware? Yeah. Okay, so those are Tupperware brand. Tupperware brand. I had, I don't know, they had the lids, sippy cups, vintage, cool colors. Yeah, those are cool. No clue. I would have no, picked no, those up. No prices on pretty much most of the stuff I grabbed. I was digging through stuff. So really I don't, don't even know what I paid. It could have been 50 cents or a dollar. I don't think either of us really comped much while we were there. We were just kind of grabbing things. Um, I picked up this Dymo um, 1780 and it's got some of the uh, actual, what do you call it? Um, tape, is that called tape? that you put in it and so I do have these listed I just listed it as a lot and again nothing was priced so I just probably had like a buck or less than that what is that yeah I actually didn't look up any I know this is a call like a duck call well this is a crow call it says crow oh wow crow call but I know some of these duck calls and different calls so yeah duck calls and again I didn't up. I literally did not pull my phone out at this sale. I was just picking through stuff. So I, I, I might've paid 50 cents or something. I still haven't looked any of this that stuff looks up. Cool. So yeah, it, it might only be 10 or $12 if that, I don't know, but. I'll be popping up screen cool. shares so you guys will know as we go through this. Okay, the next thing I got is um, Goody. Again, you guys, if you see Goody that's vintage, you wanna pick it up. I actually didn't know that this was in this bag, it was all together. So when I pulled this out, I was pleasantly surprised. Again, probably a dollar for all of this. I listed this and then I listed this as a lot. So um, some of these are loose and then some are still in the original packaging here, but the packaging is open. So I'll show you how I listed that. What is that? I have a thing for old shoelaces, so I saw this. I'm like, wow, no. It's an old whistle. It is an old whistle, and I actually have never been a whistle guy, but I've heard, I, who knows? I, I just saw it, and I've seen whistles go for in the hundred, 
and it was actually in the same tote with that crow call. So hmm. I just paid, again, I might have paid 25 cents. Who knows what I paid for this, but I don't even know if it has a brand on it. I don't really see anything. It's probably pretty nasty. Look. Stink bug. <laughs> this was sitting out in the garage and I just brought it in. We have a friend. We have a friend. Okay, so I just picked these up because they're um, embroidered and they're in the original packaging. This is definitely a bread and butter item. So um, it would be up to you if you wanna take the time to list something like that. But I went ahead and grabbed it and checked comps, so. Ooh, cute. Picked up a candle, thought it looked kinda neat. And of course they got me when it said hand painted. Ooh. And it says British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. So I thought that was pretty interesting as well. That's really cool. So I just thought it was kind of neat. Pretty cool little piece. Probably, again, who knows what I paid for that thing. Probably no more than 50 cents or so. So. Okay, the next item I got are these sun cooler sunglasses. And I did end up, you can see the ring light. I did end up looking up a compare comp on this and the comp was really really good but they were in much better condition than mine so i'm gonna try an auction on these they do say coca-cola um yeah they're pretty cool so this was just a nice surprise and we'll kind of see how it goes all right this is pretty cool now i did creep up on him at the sale when he was looking through this, so. I don't really know if this is cool or not, but the torch is passed. Uh, no dust jacket or anything. I didn't even, honestly, didn't even have a clue what the torch is passed meant. But when I opened it, I saw a bunch of pretty cool space pictures and an official NASA picture. I don't know if that's legit or what that means, but lunar, the, the lunar module, command module, backside of the moon. I mean, that's pretty cool stuff. And I was looking through other stuff of the person that had passed away, and there was a lot of aeronautical stuff, um, engineer, a lot of pretty high-tech stuff with NASA. So, I, I mean, this really could have been stuff that was it NASA at some one point? I, I'm not really sure, but man, just a ton of these pictures. That says uh, December 21st, 68 Apollo launch, Cape uh, Kennedy. I mean, so these are pretty cool stuff here. And again, I didn't look any of this stuff up, but I saw it right inside this book. I'll just try to flip through these. Taken from Apollo 8. So this is a, this is a, shape of a mouse and its tail it had died on the it's proof of life on on the no man. <laughs> whatever astronaut arden you descends have... ladder so that's pretty cool i always thought of that edwin Ald aldrin hmm. which i thought it was bud the second Buzz man aldrin. says second man on the moon the second man on the moon who knows Aldrin sets up seismograph. I don't even know if I'm in the yep, you're screen in there. here. I'm How do you do this? Looking at that yep. and this. And... So there's <laughs> the old astronaut places American flag on the moon, 1969. Do they have anything on the back? Pretty cool, huh? So I have not looked these up. I have no clue. They might just be some fake reprints that are meant to fool people. Guys, here's one for you. And this used to be a big money bolo. Um, I saw this in a closet and I think it was a dollar or two. Um, it was half off when we went, right? Yeah, I think it was marked $2, so I got it for a buck. Uh, I do have a video on my reseller testing products that shows that the item works, which is basically I plugged it in and showed that it um, actually turned on. Um, I didn't make cookies or anything with it, but these used to be huge money, uh, probably a year or two ago. You're gonna see what I listed it for. Not as big money as they used to be. Now, if you can find it brand new in the box, it's gonna do a lot better than a pre-owned item, but uh, definitely something to look for if you can get it cheap. It's the Super Shooter and it's to make, you know, it's got the little uh, candy, uh, I don't know what those are called, 
cutouts. We'll call them cutouts. So that's that item. All right, you're up. All right, I always look for watches as well. Here's one. It's an old Timex. It's not necessarily high dollar or anything like that, but just thought I had a neat look. It is a mechanical hand one and it does not work. But again, it was probably a dollar or 50 cents. Um, kind of neat. I just like old vintage watches. And this, you, I actually know how to tell the date on some of these. So this one is from 1956. So I just, when I saw how old it was, and it's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, for that's on the crystal, that little smudge is on the glass, but it's not all wore down. I mean, it actually looks pretty cool for a 1956. And then this is another one. Um, it is battery battery operated, so who knows if it's going to work. But it's a cool old vintage bull of Accutron. And this, they have date codes. So on that one, you can see an M, M6. So that one's 1966. So regardless if this works or not, I mean, it's worth, like I said, a dollar. I would have paid the most. And the cool thing is I was looking, after I had it in my hands, I was looking through a drawer and I found this. So that is the Accutron symbol, like you see on the dial there at the top. And that's the original um, book for it. And he even filled it out. And sure enough, that's the date he bought it. And that's the date that matches the watch. So really neat to find them separate. And believe it or not, even just adding this book with the watch can really add sometimes 20 to 30 percent value to to a watch if it's a if it's a higher end watch or a nicer one so we'll see if they work i know this one doesn't work because I, I already wound it but this one may or may not so I thought it was a pretty cool find i got this it is an address book it is tico and it is made in japan it says it on the address book but anything with the big eyed girls you definitely want to grab those. This will more than likely just be a good bread and butter item, but um, some of these old stationery and stuff like that, depending on what it is, can go for big money. So when I saw that new in the original packaging, I snagged it. Do you want me to do another item? No, I, I might need help with these because... I, I have no clue. Huh. I mean, I might have gotten fooled. Maybe they are they were made yesterday in China or Taiwan or something. I don't know. They look old. They just kind of looked old. They all have the hole in the bottom. I, I have no clue. There's no markings, no maiden. They could have had a sticker right here that said India. I don't know. But I, they just kind of appealed to me. They look like they're, I think they're possibly hand-painted, but I don't even know. So I... Anybody know? I just thought they were kind of cool. And again, I probably paid no more than a dollar for all of them. They, they're definitely some kind of clay or something. Yeah, knock them together. <laughs> chip all the paint up. Maybe we can see if we can chip their beaks off. <laughs> That's but how it does things. Again, I have no clue and I don't even know how to look these up. I don't know what. They just reminded me of something pretty, pretty old looking. I mean, it looks like old, clay. like gray clay. So, I mean, these. Again, these might be some knockoff of something, or they might actually be something special. So yeah, if any of you know by chance, I'd love to see in any comments you might have if you know what this stuff is, but kind of some bad chips here and there, but overall, I just... This is nothing big, it's a bread and butter, but I find um, the angel chimes all the time, and I always pick those up. They always sell fast. They're... Um, Oh, what is the material? I can't think of what the material is. So I found some candles. It's not a complete set, but I figure somebody will be looking for those. So I went ahead and picked those up. Another one of my arts and crafts pieces. No clue either. It looked pretty cool to me. And it, you know, you always look, turn it mm. over and look. So it says Jamestown Pottery, Virginia Festival Park. So I have no clue. I don't know. Didn't look it up. Again, probably not much. And some of this little stuff, sometimes I'll just put on a shelf and enjoy it for a little bit because I don't really sell pottery or stuff typically, but it just appealed to me. 
I actually thought a third grader made it and then I turned it over. I was like, oh, maybe not. So uh, I bought that. All right, you guys, this is a nice little bolo. I have found these before and, uh, well, at least one other time. I found it in a shaving kit that I bought that had, not, it, this was just shoved down in the side and I was like, oh, I'll look it up. And yes, definitely something to be on the lookout for. It's just one razor with one cartridge and, okay. Bought a pretty cool coin here. It's not a real coin with money value, but it says Florida on it. And it says Weeki Wachi Spring. Never heard of it in my life. Looked kind of cool. And then when I saw it, it says Spring of Live Mermaid. So, I mean, who wouldn't want to buy that, right? So, that's kind of interesting. Never looked it up. It might be worth a few thousand dollars I'm hoping all right you guys um I have not listed this because I don't know how there's no tags I don't know if it's handmade but it's a little I think they're called like a bloomer that goes under a dress I'm not really sure if that's the right term for their vintage and then there's this one that has the lining in it but pretty good condition and here's the top. So this has a stain on it. I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these, but this was why I grabbed it. Um, I think this goes to some sort of doll. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> if you have a child that small, <laughs> Oh my gosh. That would be but you can see it's disgusting. got like, <laughs> hole um and a stain but i may be able to i'll probably just sell it at it as is who am i kidding oh i'm not gonna God. wash it but um it's really old but i don't know i just saw it in there i thought it was cool it was cheap so if you guys have any insight on what i should do with those let me know so this is another item i found that was not priced or listed and i I almost feel like I should have looked it up, but again, I just wasn't pulling out my phone. I've heard cast iron can go for money, and I just they had no price because they didn't even know they had it. So I thought, well, if I can get it for a few bucks. Oh, it's a Wagner. Um, Wagner Ware, Sydney. I don't know if it's Ohio. Wagner. Some Wagners do well. But, I know I've heard you know, that. It actually ended up being a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but being that I didn't look it up, I was in the line. I was like, yeah, what the heck. I think it was like 12 bucks. So, cool. who I'm knows? I'm excited to see what that's worth. Probably about $15, I'm thinking. But oh, hey, never, know. never right. shift a pan before, but that's definitely something I'll try to maybe sell. I got that for you. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I got it for you. Here. Are these a knockoff Ray Bans? There's no Ray Bans in it, it's just a case. Uh, case in Mexico. <laughs> Is that, it's fake then? That's probably not. Uh, what? I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't really care. I'd still put some in there, but... My I, husband likes Ray-Bans, so... You guys might have seen a video with me wearing some. But yeah, I have a few vintage vintage pairs, but I don't know. I don't know. That's definitely vintage. I mean, made in Mexico, you, anything. Bosch and Lom was an American company, and that's a pretty old symbol. That may not even be the sticker for it. That could be off like a pair of sunglasses oh my God. somebody threw in there. It's just laying on there. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, I never thought of that, but I guess I don't know where they had their cases made back. But that's definitely a pretty vintage symbol, I think, for Ray being that triangle symbol. I, I'm not going to say what era because I don't really know, but cool. Yeah, I'll that's definitely for you. put my sunglasses in there. So, so you're Thanks. done, right? I've got some more stuff. Yeah, I'm done. I don't. Okay. So you can watch what I have. I got this hearts card game. I looked it up. It's missing cards, so it's incomplete, but the cards are really cute. I think somebody could craft with them, but I think I'm just gonna probably donate those. Um, I got this needle point. So these are felt. Some of these felt um, ornaments can go for big money, even when they're already complete. This one is not one of them, but um, I still thought it was cute and it's not in the original packaging. I put it in a Ziploc bag. 
and I'm gonna show you my favorite thing here in a minute. This is an original bag, so anytime I find vintage stockings, I definitely pick those up. Um, some of them can be big money if you can find the dimensions. Those do pretty well. Um, two goody picks, so I'm gonna list those together. And this, I've sold one of these before. Gem is a, um, I think it's like a Barbie doll or something, but I've sold one of these in another color. But I saw this and again, it was pennies. And then I found this uh, vintage, uh, I put it in a bag in case it spelled Falcon Mist Cotty. I don't know. But my favorite thing that I picked up, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna list it or what to do, but it's this photo album and it is full of black and white photos. Now, one of the photos is an Ohio State player and I Googled him and there's a whole like, oh, website dedicated to it. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research on it. But so how, I am curious, how do you know? Where is, where is this at? Does it say on the back or how? It's right here. Oh, well, he's right. Uh, that's how she knows. Yeah, he's wearing a shirt. <laughs> Gosh. But how do you know his name? Is it on it's the back? It's on the back. Well, that's always nice. Yeah. So Bob McCullough. Yeah, so I Googled him and he played for Ohio State in the 40s. Wow, that's pretty cool. Whoa. So, I don't know. We have to assume... It'd be neat to look through. I mean, I like old pictures I mean, and dated, old history. Um, but it'd be neat to find out, you know, some other pictures maybe of him Here's growing up. One. Here's another one in his Ohio State oh, wow. shirt. There's, yeah, this there, is cool. I didn't that's even know. Him. I didn't know about this either. Look how cute this is. Yeah, so that's just a printed off. But there's another one that's actually wow. an original. But there's graduation pictures. I think he went off to the war. Um, so there's war pictures in here as well. Here he is just at home with his bat. Um, so maybe, I don't think he played baseball, but like, I don't know, that looks like a college picture. Here's some military. Wow. This is really cool. There's some more football right there. Yep. And then football and military. So it kind of shows. Wow. I didn't even know she got this. Yeah. And he actually, I'm trying to think. Yeah. That's weird, because this is the same, you know, this is often the same estate sale. Yeah, look here. And I do remember that name, McCullough. These are really old. Being on some of that uh, NASA stuff. So I don't know, may, well, there's Jim and Bob, so maybe. Well, he passed away at a pretty young age. I did read that. Oh, so it was probably the brother that we were in his estate. Or maybe his kid. Well, I if mean, he was that age in the 40s, yeah, I don't know. and you said the one guy died young, so I'm saying that his brother maybe because he has pictures of him and his brother, it seems like. Yeah, so I mean, or maybe his brother's sister, kid whatever. or something. Yeah, yeah, again, until you do some research, I guess. But, um, but this was a McCullough estate that we were at, I do remember seeing that name now. So even that NASA stuff, it was. It was a McCullough. Actually, I'm gonna look, I think it was George. I'm gonna look through this book here. So it's a pretty cool uh, book. I don't know why there's a bunch of tombstone pictures. Oh, it doesn't have his name. I thought his name would be in there. I thought it was. Here, let me look at this. So yeah, just, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure how to do, what to do with something like this, but they knew when I checked out that it was a album full of photos and so the family must not have wanted them. Do you know what you paid for it? Like a buck or something. I mean, I had like $15 in all of this stuff. So um, this is an old postcard. Look at that. 1907. Jim McCullough, yeah. 1907. Yeah, I'm going to grab Look, it's a postcard with a... That's interesting, isn't it? That's that little girl wearing that dress she bought. Oh my goodness, oh. it's the dress, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is happening here? Oh, that's a hat. I'm like, what is that? So, I don't know. It's definitely interesting. I need to do some more research. I don't know. 
I mean, I know people buy old black and white photos just because they sell them individually for the content that's in the picture. Like, look how cute this is with the little, um, he's in an old wash tub. Yeah, so I, I just pulled out my phone out and pulled up a picture because I wanted to know possibly okay. like whose who's watch this was. And I took a picture of some mail we, we found at the residence and it ended up saying Mr. James McCullough, which would be Jim. So I'm pretty sure that's whose estate we were at that must have just passed somewhat recently. So that, you know, however they were, I mean, there's a lot of, is that the guy? Bob and Jim. It but says. Jim's a guy that we were at. So Bob is probably the football player. That's Bob, Bob is the football player. Yeah. So they were pro most likely they brothers, were brothers right. and but whatever that's that's is what's fun about yeah, old pictures and yeah so bob i don't know what that says du bob and then don duper or something I, mm. i'm not even a huge Let's sports look at the little tractor. oh wow yeah these are See, cool pictures. like the tractor like somebody might want that because this tractor brings back a memory to them the horse this looks like a little costume kind of well, it looks like he was fishing. He's holding a... Oh, he's holding a fish. Yeah, I guess it's that's not... Maybe that's just they what they wore. wore. back then. <laughs> Look at this. That's so cute. Yeah, so I, I admit I like these old... I like old cars, so when, anytime you see pictures with old Here's cars... Here's Richard McCullough. Doctor. I don't know. The one dude was definitely smart because I think he worked at NASA. Oh, my word. Look at that lawnmower. We, we might have to do a whole video just pictures here. This is boring if you don't like pictures but if you do That's wow look at that old basketball hoop it's just got a wood slats and probably just a, it's is. tied to a tree it's tied to wow. a tree it's tied to a tree yeah that's pretty cool though look at the birthday cake I don't even know. man i'm probably probably gonna look through these my husband's gonna keep it yeah He's I like, do, I do. I have pictures. Hashtag keeper. I literally bought pictures of uh, from an estate, yeah. and I, I just can't get rid of them. I've had them, had them for probably four or five years now. Now, these are where they're getting old. Look at that old car. Yeah. These are really old, but they wrote um, that says, Virginia McCullough. What is that pointing to? Hmm. It's like pointing to the tree and, and it says, says James. James, hmm. James S. That might have been like, oh, back here. Oh, I see. But that might have been Jim's dad, and he named his son, his first son, James, which went by Jim. All speculation, but that would make, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but that's even older. I want, is that the same guy or a different one? How do you get it out? That's him. No, that is him. Front, front of house in. I don't know how to get the pictures out. Something. I guess we don't need to. Wow. Oh, there we go. That doesn't even feel like a man, picture. Man, if we could only have those uh, that uniform, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that man, would... that would have been cool. Look how old that is. Yeah. If you, you I guys wish have... they would have dated those pictures. We've probably lost a ton of you here if you're not into photos. And you can't even see them all because of the way this darn thing is. That's right. They got the, but, the gist of what we found. Right. If they wanted to hang out and watch this part, they could. Some, we got, if we have picture people around here, they'll enjoy this. If not, it's the most boring thing. Hey. Class of 45 enjoys reunion. Wow, this, that looks like a darn picture I have. That's Those crazy. are definitely newer. Probably, well, that says 72 right on it, so. Yeah. All right, you guys. So, All right. who do you think had the coolest item? What was your favorite item? I'm not going to say who had the best haul because we both found some really cool stuff. But what was your favorite item? Drop it down in the comments. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.